Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? Um, it's Tuesday. I'm like checking. It's chilly here in New York. Um, of course, I just spilled coffee all over my shirt in the two seconds that I went from um, heating my coffee up to coming onto the live. Super excited to have Susan, Dr. Susan Trotter here today. She's a Fresh Starts expert. She is a dating relationship couples expert, divorce expert. She's kind of all things relationship. Um, and she's going to be here talking about Fresh Starts and relationships. It's definitely the time of year, um, let's see, to, um, let's see. She's just making sure technical. There she is. Okay. So I'm going to invite her. Let's see here. Okay. So she should come on. And one second. Is it cold by you guys? It's cold here. I like it though. It's supposed to be cold in November. Let's see. Um, I'm have again. So let's see. I invited so Instagram is being glitchy, and that, let's see. Invited Susan. Let's see. Let's make sure. Hmm. Because you're unable to join. Hmm. Let's try this again. If I have to go, let's see. Try it again. <clears throat> Thank you for your patience, everybody. That's weird. Why is it not working? Let's see. Go live. Let's see. There you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's not. I think Instagram is being, you know, they change their interface all the time. And then there's different buttons for everything. And it's all wonky. But no, I'm glad you're here. Um, I am so excited for everybody to meet. Did you, you it's Dr. Susan Trotter? What's What do you prefer? Uh, S Susan Trotter is fine. Okay. <laughs> So Susan Trotter, she's a relationship expert, couples expert, divorce expert. She helps people pretty much on any scale spectrum of the relationship, dating, divorce journey that you're on, which is what I love. Um, she is incredibly warm and kind to talk to. I was just chatting with her and she is very devoted to her clients, which is what we love here at Fresh Starts. So Susan, thank you for being here and for being part of Fresh Starts. We're so happy you're here. Well, thank you. I am so happy to be part of Fresh Starts and this community. I'm just so glad I found you because, as I said earlier, your mission really aligns with my own. And so I'm just thrilled to be here today. Awesome. So can you just give us a little background on like who you are and like what you do and kind of your expertise? Sure, absolutely. So I started my career in clinical psychology and I practiced as a therapist for over 20 years before shifting to coaching several years ago, and I work exclusively as a coach now, uh, although having the clinical background 
is actually part of what makes me unique as a coach. And I do a lot of different things in my practice. I work with people who are in relationships and want to strengthen the connection and improve communication. I work with people who are thinking about or going through divorce to navigate that process, uh, both with confidence and peace of mind and both practically and emotionally. And then I also help people who are single and want to learn how to date more successfully um, to, to really learn how to set themselves up for success in the process and how to navigate the dating world, both online and in person. And I work yeah. with individuals and with couples. Actually. Okay. Yeah. No, cause I was just hearing all of that and I was getting overwhelmed listening to all of that. So, um, I, you know, it is, it's overwhelming when you go through a life change to like think about whether it's a breakup or a divorce or even just like moving to a new kind new state or going through a job change and interacting with new people you could potentially you know, be in the dating pool for you. Um, it's a lot. So how do you typically like work with clients? What does that look like? Do you work nationally? Is it virtual? Yeah, it's a great question. So I work uh, remotely, 100% remotely at this time. So I work with people all across the country and have some clients overseas as well. Um, so really, no matter where you are, we have the opportunity to work together if it makes sense. Um, typically, what I do uh, is set up an initial consultation with people that's complimentary. It can be by phone or Zoom, whatever your preference is. Although when I work with couples, it is actually always by Zoom because the dynamic is a little different. Um, but we just do a, a consultation. It's just an opportunity for me to learn more about you and for you to learn more about me and see how I can be most helpful to you. And sometimes, you know, obviously, if I think I can be beneficial, I'll let you know that uh, and we'll move forward from there. And uh, if I think some other avenue makes more sense or there are some other referrals I can make, then I'm always happy to do to do that as well. Um, and if we decide to work together, then we set up an agreement. We set goals for our work together. Um, there's, a, you know, minimal paperwork involved and then we move forward from there. So how does it look like? Do people do Zoom calls with you? Do they check in like once a week? Like, is it like, you know, traditional coaching where there's like a Voxer account? Like, or what, what does it look like to work with you on, um, yeah. you know, if you're interested in that? Yeah, sure. So um, the frequency of the sessions depends on what people are coming to me for, what their goals are. With some people I work weekly, others it might be bi-weekly, some people it might be once a month. Uh, it really just depends, uh, again, on what their goals are. Uh, sessions are generally by phone or by Zoom. Um, and then people can email me or text me kind of as needed. Um, and and that varies depending on, again, what people are coming mm -hmm. to. I love that. So let's say that we have a lot of people who come to Fresh Starts because they are newly single and they maybe moved into their own place and they're getting all their stuff back together. Um, as somebody that I have not even dipped my toe into the dating world and it's been years, like what are some things, you know, if, if I was going to come talk to you that you would just initially say like something that our freshies can go through at home that before they come to you to start like that confidence building. Sure. Absolutely. So one of the things I do encourage people to do if you are, have come out of a long term relationship um, and particularly if you've been you're, you've been through divorce, I do encourage people to take some time to just kind of reconnect with who you are as a person outside of that relationship, um, to do some work to just kind of understand what happened, you know, in the relationship, what your part was in it. Um, we all play a part in every dynamic. It doesn't mean we're responsible for other people's behavior, but we do play a part. Um, and and just to, to really work on mindset, uh, I do a lot of work around mindset with people, no matter what the other goals might be. Um, and mindset is really just about how we think about things, how we think about ourselves and other people um, and what's going on in our lives. Yeah. Um, and so really paying attention to that mindset piece and the self-talk and really working on making sure that before you start dating uh, or as you're starting to date, that you really get back to a place of feeling good and confident about yourself because, you know, what we put out into the world tends to be what we get back. So That's so true. Yeah. No, it's true. Feeling good, it really does make a difference. And if you can also create um, a full and joyful life for yourself, then it also allows you to date more intentionally. Uh, and to be more selective about who you invite into your life rather than just looking for someone to fill voids. Yeah, 
it, that's it's totally. And so do you work with people like the whole dating kind of like journey? I do. Um, so first of all, I work with people of all ages. I have clients in their twenties. Okay. I have clients in their eighties. Um, I, the oldest client I had was 89 who I, who I helped launch on match, uh, and who found somebody, uh, that they have continued long, uh, long term relationship with. Um, but yeah, I can help people, you know, create profiles, um, learn how to navigate, uh, you know, the dating apps and dating websites. I help with messaging. Um, I help them assess people, you know, talk about how to prepare for a first date, you know, give them questions that they can ask, kind of conversation starters. Um, and then the coaching part, you know, beyond kind of all that practical work is really about just helping them, um, you know, be thoughtful as they are going through the process. You know, who are they choosing to connect with? Um, what are they feeling? You know, what patterns are coming up? Uh, what choices are they making and so forth? And just really helping uh, to guide them in that process so that they can be successful and find whatever it is that they're looking for. I love that. And it's, it really is so necessary because you can feel so lost when you're like starting over again and, you know, you want to jump into and everybody's telling you, you know, you should start dating, you should start dating. And you're like, where do I even begin? So having a coach there to guide you the whole way, I would imagine is super empowering and probably you have great success with your clients in the long run because they have you there to help empower them and snowball that confidence. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm divorced also. I've been out in the dating world. So I, you know, I'm not talking about this stuff just from some theoretical vantage point. Um, I've been out there. I know what it's like. And I know for most people, it can feel really daunting and challenging. And, and a lot of people haven't had good experiences. So I'm also on a mission to inject more fun into the process and to really empower people to feel more confident as they go through the process. Um, so I think having that support really does help um, because again, the mindset piece is so key in this. Uh, if, if you don't think you're going to have a good experience with it, you probably won't have a good experience with it. Right. Uh, and so having a coach to work with alongside you, you know, guiding you in, again, the practical aspects of how to navigate it all, but also to kind of keep you on track, to, to help you with the mindset piece uh, and help you avoid patterns that maybe didn't work for you in the past is really powerful and, uh, and inspiring for people. No, I, I love that. So do you have any like stories like like amazing success that you can like generally share of like clients that you're super proud of yeah absolutely so i had um in addition to the coaching work i also teach webinars i have a dating and relationship webinar that i teach several times a year um and i actually just from the webinar i had one person who attended the webinar who really took notes and incorporated everything i think we did a few sessions just a few um but she reached out to me about a year ago to let me know that she had gotten married the, just what she took from the webinar and the few sessions that we did were so powerful that it completely changed how she approached her dating experience um, and ended up finding somebody that she probably would not have chosen to connect right. with prior to that um, and has now gone on to, to be happily married. So, uh, so I love that. And then, as I said, I, you know, I've had clients, I, I work with people of all ages, but a lot of my clients are midlife and post-divorce. Uh, and there are people who, you know, never imagined that they would ever start dating again um, and have really struggled, you know, just processing, as you know, all the post-divorce mm -hmm. thoughts and feelings and transitions. Uh, and so I have another client who over time, was ready to to launch on on dating sites and ended up finding somebody and really working alongside me um, to work through the stuff that was coming up for her. Yeah. She was going through it and and is now in happily a, a long term relationship as well. Uh, so it's so it's so heartwarming for me. Like I really love what I do. I really believe in what I do. And to be able to help people shift how they think about things and how they feel and to go on to have and create whatever it is they want in their lives. Um, it is, it just, it's so meaningful for me doing this work. No, I love that. And just before we let you go, you also work with people on the divorce end. So what does that look like in terms of like, is it like divorce coaching or how does that work? Yeah. So the divorce work I do is, is, divorce coaching. It's both practical and emotional and practical. It's about getting organized, developing an action plan, 
figuring out who you might need on your team in terms of professionals, helping with communication uh, with your spouse and with professionals um, uh, throughout the process. And then emotionally, it's really about developing strategies to, to manage all the emotions that you will have in the process so they don't get in the way of making the really important decisions people need to make in divorce about their assets and about their children. It's emotionally driven decisions is what tends to make the divorce process go sideways and cost yeah. more, take longer. So that piece is really, really critical and, and affects everything that happens in the divorce process. You must get very close to your clients because you probably see them go from like totally, you know, going through the divorce process to getting married again, you know, and everything yeah. in between, which is, you know, we really, that's why we need our hype team. That's why we need our people. So I love that you're doing that. So if there are people listening or watching the replay of this, how can they get in touch with you to set up a consultation? Sure. The, the easiest way is actually to email me, which is Susan Trotter PhD at gmail.com. Uh, that's the easiest way to connect with me and to set up the consultation. Uh, if people want to call me, they can do that as well. 508-314-0486. Um, uh, but email is really the easiest way. So Perfect. Uh, do a consultation with anybody who just has questions, uh, no obligation, just an opportunity for us to connect and see how I can be helpful. I love that. And of course, you can go to freshstartsregistry.com backslash experts. And Susan is up there um, as a relationship coach. And you can click on her profile there and get in touch with her as well as watch this video. For anybody that's listening, that will be up there too. Susan, it's such a pleasure to have you part of the community. And we love what you're doing. And it's so empowering and so necessary. And, um, you know, if anybody's listening to this and they are going through a breakup or a divorce or a major change and they're ready to jump back into the dating world or at least put their toe into the dating world, get in touch with Susan and she will hold your hand and make sure you are exactly where you need to be. So thank you, Susan. It's always such a pleasure. Thank you. My, my pleasure as well. Thanks, Olivia. Thank you, everybody.